when it comes to learning art i have not at all i'm not at all a trained uh, artist i have not taken any classes anything this is just an inborn talent when i started drawing especially in my childhood i was dealing with watercolor now i'm i'm perfectly all right with acrylic and uh, oil paints i would say like you know oil paint really helps you to capture all those things you know very beautifully because with a less stroke uh, of uh, you know paints and with a less stroke of brushes everything and acrylic is a very good medium if you want to do a painting which uh, in a very fastly manner with very short time period uh, there's a wonderful medium I, i personally feel both the mediums are very good to do uh, paintings on talking about art in my life it was there with me since my birth i believe strongly because i've been participating in a lot of uh, painting competitions from my childhood onwards and i won many prizes also which includes national level uh, prize for stamp designing state level prize balachitra award and all and then i took a, a gap for my studies because it was there for 6 to 7 years i took a gap and uh, after that you know again i'm back to the uh, art and uh, it's really wonderful because uh, the shades of life the painting exhibition is been named like that and this painting exhibition contains 22 of my paintings which uh, deals with life and you know its existence especially i i tried to capture the brilliance of life from the womb to the wall you know it it deals with all love irresistible love to the uh, inevitable lust everything in your life in fact you know it all the shades which are used for this painting you know are very unique and would uh, help you know has helped me to portray all the features uh, you know all all those moments and emotions feelings that we always face in our lives my personal favorite is a love stage uh, which deals with a love triangle majority of us you know in our lives you know we fall in love then uh, finally we uh, at point of time will get, get rejected and we'll find like the uh, person whom we love you know is loving someone else so uh, that is it that is well captured with the shades of yellow and blue wherein yellow is uh, represent the hot sun and a lady standing there you know uh, can have red flowers on a tree though it's a hot season in the blue shade is having a pleasant atmosphere but he cannot enjoy the season it's only because of this uh, love failure i mean the brilliance of it from the womb to the world it it is been captured in three shades one is a two lit, uh, small paintings uh, which i highlighted uh, using the black uh, black and white and the other one with the yellow the black again the black shade again which uh, deals with uh, you know uh, the life uh, you know which uh, starts in a womb in fact we call many many times you know technologically we refer it as fetus but it's not so actually a life has already taken birth and it's it's it has got emotions feelings to come and see the world outside so it has been well i personally feel like you know whether it's female or male but it's it's been well dealt with the two people who are newly married couple who cannot have uh, a physical relationship or cannot share those beautiful moments of love only because uh, they don't love each other but they were forced to get married to each other that is it and presently in this uh, present scenario when especially uh, uh, it's when it comes to corporate field and all people you know uh, tend to have such relationship and you know later on which leads to divorce and extramarital affairs again you know it's it's a common um, common you know part of life in our uh, if you take the new generation I have really uh, tried to capture a few of uh, you know Madhavi Kutty stories and her heroines and her characters because that you know if you take uh, her literature it's 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 been you know all this common life characters been well defined and you know well explained and well captured in her writing so I have tried to portray three of her characters one is Rohini uh, Manumi and uh, two uh, great ladies from Chandana Marangal which is, which is sandalwood trees uh, written by her which which deals with a kind of lesbian love because you know again it states like love doesn't have any boundaries okay you can love anyone it's all matters is you need to have a true heart okay it deals with uh, the love between or the other special affair between and dr kalyanikutty and dr sheela and uh, uh, that that i used you know they are meeting after after 30 long years okay the changes in them and how they recognize each other that is all been well captured in one of my frames my painting which is named eternal love which deals with uh, when you when you fall in love with a person you you will have uh, you you for, tend to forget the side effects of it you, you there would be uh, plus points to it but we blindly fall in love okay and will not care about anything and we tend to ignore the things around us right so 
in this uh, painting, I've been trying. Uh, I tried to pictureize it with uh, the uh, navy blue shade and with the yellow shade. Yellow is full of hopes, the plus points of being in love, and uh, the, it shows other navy blue shows shows the darker side of love. Wherein, uh, when you fall in love, you don't think about anything. You tend to be blind. So again, the lovely feeling has been pictureized with the help of uh, butterflies in it. Uh, wherein butterflies are the most beautiful creatures on earth, created by God itself. So you can have a kind of butterflies in your stomach kind of feeling when you fall in love. So that has been uh, pictureized with uh, in love or eternal love. Red always portrays a passion in our life. We can say like it's again a passionate kiss, the first kiss. So the two people are trying to kiss each other, but they are having a kind of hesitation. At the same time, they're enjoying the moment. Their little fingers are sh shivering, their lips are shivering, which has been well portrayed with the help of uh, red and uh, a, a tint of black. And the strokes which are given using the dry brushes really help to portray their emotions and feelings at that point of time when they are going to receive their first kiss. Puppets is, I would say, like, you know, we all are puppets, you know, and, and God is a creator and God is a person who directs our show. So uh, that in that manner, and I, I got inspired from an art called Katputli, which is a Rajasthani art of uh, puppets play, uh, playing, telling the story with the help of puppets. So I, since I spent my childhood in uh, North India, so this has really influenced me a lot. So that's how I come with a painting called Puppets, which really deals with the, another stage of life. I picturize Radha Krishna love because I personally believe that there is a beautiful love story which exists uh, on earth. In fact, you know the way Krishna loved Radha and the way Radha loved Krishna, it's 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 there's no words to capture it. But I tried with my brushes and few colors how to express this love, and I tried to familiarize those phases. You know, in our date, see we we get to see people who are falling in love uh, and declare it as eternal love. So I I try to you know bring those phases together. I try to create a kind of modern Krishna and modern, modern Radha, at least with their looks. Okay, so that is it and uh, they, they are deeply in love. This has been captured with the shades of blue, green and all. Green always represents the pleasant atmosphere around them. I personally feel like, you know, paintings uh, tells a lot of stories than um, uh, can capture. It, it can capture lots and lots of emotions with the beautiful shades of, you know, the, the God-gifted colors, you know, which, which makes the world alive. So that's the one thing which I'm trying to do with paintings. It's not like, prob probably, I don't think, once I resign from my job, probably I will take it as a career also, because again, it's a wonderful career option. Realistic paintings, you know, I really don't have such a personal choice as realistic paintings or abstract or the modern art because I don't differentiate art like that because art is ultimately art, okay. But when it comes to realistic painting, if you are able to paint a person exactly the way he looks or if you are able to do a wonderful landscape the way it looks and all, a layman would appreciate it. Layman will feel, you know, fine, okay, fine. Well, this is a wonderful painting. He has exactly copied what is existing on nature or he has exactly copied the person as a channel. So probably he can appreciate it. But I personally feel, you know, when it comes to modern art, it's, it's such a spectrum wherein you can really deal uh, with a lot of emotions. It can capture a lot of, you know, uh, things which a normal realistic painting cannot because you can give a message to a society at the same time you can deal with the wonderful shades of colors which itself forms a painting okay and I don't think for an art lover he should have such classification realistic painting abstract or modern art because art is ultimately art and a person should have a heart to enjoy the art because it's just a matter of creativity nothing else so I deal with everything When it comes to the social commitments, the way uh, with, the, with this life, shades of life, my painting exhibition, I am just trying to uh, give a message like, uh, you know, perception really matters in your life, okay? The way, way you perceive things really matters because that is the one way, you know, uh, to change the world around you, okay? Suppose if you perceive uh, a, a thing as a very good thing, even if you are only trying to see the plus points in that, obviously the thing will appear to be very good to you. Right, and suppose if you're only seeing the bad side of it, obviously it will be a negative thing for you, and you will never dare to look at it again, or you will have a tendency to go back or back off from that particular thing. That is the one social message, strong message, which I would like to give the society. Mm -hmm.